Hi, and welcome to my Thunderball movie review. So, so this is my continuation. I'll review it at J. Bond movie once a month until November of 2019. Okay, November of 2019, we'll get a new J. Bond movie. J. Bond 25th and the fifth outing with Daniel Craig. And the fifth outing with Daniel Craig supposed to be uh, Daniel Craig last time at J. Mont. Okay? So, um, I already, I already reviewed Dr. No from Watch Your Love and Goldfinger. Now it's time for me to review Thunderball. Okay? And I'm going to keep reviewing the Jane Bond movie, like I said, until November of 2019, until the new Jane Bond movie came out with Daniel Craig, okay? Okay, now let's get to the review of Thunderball. Thunderball is a 2 hours and 12 minute, rated PG, and it came out in 1955. And, um, now, some people might not like the movie, they boring and stuff. I say it's good. That if you can if you compare it to uh Goldfinger, it's not as good. And not as good. But to me, it's still a good movie, I like it. I'm a big Jane Bond fan. I grew up uh, going to video stores, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, the mall, other places and buying Game Bond on on VHS. And that's why you see here. On the ball, it's on VHS. See? And, um, so I, I love Game Bond. I think there's only maybe one or two Game Bond movies I don't have on VHS. But, I love Game Bond. I grew up watching Game Bond. And when Game Bond came out on DVD, I got, I got them on, uh, a, uh, a box set on DVD. And, that's some Game Bond movie I, I like. The others, but I still can watch Game Bond and enjoy them and all of them. Some are cheesy, some are better than others. I I can I can say that I can agree with that. Some are better than others, but some some people will have uh some people will have uh Jane Bond after they like better than others. And some might say they like Pip Bonson at the best. Some say they like Sean Connery at the best. Some say they like Daniel Craig at the best. But I, for me. Um, I can sit down at some point and watch, start from Dr. No and go all the way to the latest one that came out 2015, Spectre, and, and enjoy them. And, and have some fun out of them, get entertainment out of them, and really enjoy them. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Game Bond fan. Game Bond is my favorite, uh, movie franchise. I love Game Bond. I grew up watching them. And I can't wait to... From November of 2019. The new Game Bond movie in 2019 gonna be my most anticipated movie of 2019. I love Game Bond. I grew up watching them. That's why I have mo like I have like all Game Bond movies on, on VHS except for like one or two. But uh, so um now Thunderball go back to what the premier Game Bond movie before Goldfinger, before Goldfinger did, um, when I mean, when I, when I mean before Goldfinger, that means Dr. No and For Much of a Love. Okay, and Dr. No and For Much of a Love, they were, uh, Jane Bond, played by Sean Connery, he was fighting the organization called, uh, Spectre. And it was run by Blofeld. Okay? And, uh, but when when you, when you get to the Game Bond movie called Goldfinger, uh, they took a break and want him want want uh Game Bond to fight them uh to fight a different villain, a different organization, all this stuff, and and then after Goldfinger comes Thunderball, this movie, and he back in Game Bond back in to fight um uh Spectre organization that run by Blofeld, and. And the villain of this movie is one of, um, another, another one of, uh, uh, another one of, um, Blofeld henchmen, and number two, with the iPad. And, 
That's the villain. That's the main villain of the movie. Is uh, Blofeld Hedgeman number two with the iPad and uh, hey, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off the lamb and say, but that, that, that's the truth. Okay, if you if you think if you think all of Sean Connery Jane Bond era, you know that like 99 percent uh or either 98 or 99 percent of Jane Bond of Jane Bond movie with Sean Connery. Sean Connery at playing Jane Bond, most of his movie he's fighting what? A spectral organization. Cause Doctor No, Doctor No was um what inspector organization. And uh number two from what was from um uh spectral organization. And but like I said, Goldfinger was the only one Goldfinger was the only one that uh Jane uh Jane Bond that played by Sean Connery uh were not fighting um, Spectral Organization. Okay? So most of, I'm gonna say most of Sean Connery Game by Marine, he's fighting, um, he's fighting, um, he's fighting, um, Spectral Organization, and I think the only one that he did not fight, I'm gonna say it, I think the only one that took a, that took a break, that he did not fight Sean Connery at Game on that did not fight, uh, uh, Spectral organization that run by Bluffell with Goldfinger, okay? And uh, if you watch Never Think Never Again, it's just a remake of Thunderbolt, okay? So, uh, the lady, the lady with the uh, poison, a knife shield, and from much of love, that if you, if you get that. The, you know, the Russian lady, and for much of love, you get stabbed. She from Spectre organization. So, so, like most of Ch Sean Connery, J. Bond movie, uh, he fighting, uh, he fighting, uh, Spectre organization. And this one, he fighting Spectre organization. Okay, if you look on here, there, that guy with the, uh, iPad. And, uh, it's a really good movie. Now, there's something that people might get born with when, uh, they, uh, uh, where they scuba dive and they have a fighting underwater with scuba diving. Uh, that might be boring for some people. Uh, had some good moment. I think one of my favorite moments is when, uh, 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 number, number two. Cause like I said, number two is the main villain of the, of the whole movie. That, 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 that's the henchman of Blofeld. And you don't you don't see Blofell until later on the movie la later and other other James Bond movies. You don't see him in that movie. You, you okay? Let me talk about that for a second. Blofell, he's the leader of the organization. Okay. Now, Blofell went in for much of love and Doctor and, and, and some of the other James Bond movies, but you, you you just saw him, you just saw him talking. You, you hear his voice. And you mean you might throw his feet and he paid in the white cat, but uh you don't, you never throw his face. You you see his face uh in other game bomb movies. But never in Thunderball or From Much of Love and all the other ones. It came in for this. You see him, you hear him talking, but never his face. You see his face later on down the road in other game bomb movies. Okay, and the main villain is, like I said, um, number two, and um, the game on had to fight uh, one of Blofeld henchmen, number two, and I think one of the best things in the movie is when um, number two find out that um, um, he a spy, they bond in the spy, number two, find out they bond in the spy, and then later on, uh, they get in a fight, you know, they're shooting guns, and, uh, all, uh, number two, a man, uh, they're shooting that, he goes, stop that, 
uh, uh, he did, he did got you chewing at each other. And then, and then basically, like, they, somehow they get Jane Bond into the pool, but shut. And, and so Jane Bond got to, uh, divide the shot. You know, uh, uh, divide, get out of the, of the pool somehow, without getting eaten by the shot. And that's one, that's one of the best things in my opinion in the movie. And then, then another good thing, where, uh, he got, he got to get away from the, uh, evil woman. Uh, you know, the woman of, uh, of, um, number two. And, and so, it's a really good thing, too. Um, so, 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 this is a really good movie. And not as good as Goldfinger. Because Goldfinger had a lot of good lines. Gadget. Uh, a lot of this stuff in it. But Thunderball is a really good movie. And, like I said, there's some stuff in it. There's some, there's some, there's like, uh, some 10, 15, 20 minutes in the movie where people might get bored with that, where they go in and do scuba diving and all that stuff. You, uh, people might get bored with that thing. Um, I like it. And, um, um, Sean Connery is a really good Jane Bond actor. A lot of people say, a lot of people say that, um, uh, he's a bad Jane Bond. But all, but all I know is that Thunderball is a really good Jane Bond movie. And I don't care what critics said or fans said. I'm a fan, and I, I'm telling you from a fan, I'm a I'm a big Jane Bond fan, and I think this deserves an A plus. Okay, I'm telling you the only thing that is really boring in the movie is like when, when they take 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I don't know if it's that long, but it, 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 to me when I watch it. It got really, it, it, it seemed like really, really long when they do the scuba diving thing, and I'm like, that boring, you know. I like Jane Bond Marie when, I like Jane Bond Marie when he kicked on women and doing action, fighting bad guys. And he, and he saying, my name Bond, Jane Bond, I like Martinez taking after I like when he doing all those stuff. And when I have Jane Bond Marie that did all that, the action, they the, 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 the iconic line, like, I need Martinez taking after her. Uh, Money Bond, Game Bond, and he, he loving on women, and he fighting the bad guys. Then it's a good Game Bond movie. Game, good Game Bond movie for me. The movie had everything in it, and and um, I like I like the villain. Uh, I like the I like the better Hitchman villain number two, and it was good. So I'm gonna give Thunderball. I'm gonna give Thunderball an A plus. I like it. There was some time in my life when I used to watch it and I like it. I thought it was boring. And then o over the years, I when I when I watched it over and over again, I thought about a taste for it, so I like it. And then I and then I, I, I determined I, I liked it. And now I can watch it, enjoy it, the heck out of it. I like it. I like it. And I'm really good, and um, so um, I give it an A plus, and it's a really good. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Like I said, the only the only um, I, I'm gonna say it again. The only thing in the movie that you might get bored with is when they go in the water and do uh, the scuba diving thing, and like. 10, 15 minutes, and it's really boring. But other than that, other than that a lot of good things. A lot of good things when, uh, when Jane Bond in the pool, and he had to get out of the, uh, try to get out of the, of the pool without getting eaten by the shark. Uh, he's shaped by number two, uh, number two woman, and they tried to kill Jane Bond, and Jane Bond limping. That's a really good thing, probably one of the best things in the whole movie. Cause it really, it, it's a really, a uh, climax, Edge of the Deep, a thriller action thing. It's really good. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I get Thunderball on A+. Plus. And look forward to next month. You already live twice. Thank you for watching. A Thunderball movie review.